Hey up, Johnny here, and on this Mantic Monday, we're going to be learning how to build some of the vehicles for Firefight. Today, we're going to be building the GCPS Mule. We're also uh, available are the Marauder Mule and the Plague Mule, but the core vehicle is the same building for all of them. So let's get started. Okay, so starting out, I've been through and I've removed any flash or nubs and things like that that shouldn't be there. Just the ones that are meant to be on these pieces. You take the uh, main chassis and the back compartment. Now, again, with like the storm, the uh, stern hammer that we did the other week, most of our stuff does dry fit really nicely, clips fit, clips together like this. So you can be sure you've got it right before you blob a bit of glue on. Just go put Dab on a few corners and then those slots. You'll see there is a little notch here where they look where they line up and then it just clamps down like that. And then we take the front compartment, the this cockpit, and again these have got these little uh, pegs that just slot into these holes here. There we go. And then your two side panels. These again, little notch, little notch, and dry fit again just to make sure. Always best just to dry fit things first, just in case there is a little bit of flash left on that uh, you may have missed. Like that, and then so just repeat the process on the other side. Then we want to take these two side panels and these go along the back. You make sure you've got, this is the back with the little hole there. So this is for this side. And that just sits in uh, like that. And then what you want to do, once you've glued one side in, like so, Take your rear door and line up these holes so, like so. And if you line that up in there first, then when you come to put this piece on, you can get the other one on there. And better still, if you're careful with whereabouts you. Put in your glue, it's on a hinge and therefore will stay open. So just pop that over like that. Here's a little fiddly trying to line the three different sections up, but that will go in like so. And then your door can be left unglued like that to stay open and it is quite a once this is dry it's quite a snug fit so there isn't you can see that that's not falling down under its own weight or anything so there's no worry about needing to glue it so it doesn't fall fall down it will stay up like that once it's glued in place okay so now we're moving on to the suspension so i'll turn the mule upside down first you've got these suspension pieces like this and they go on there and then there's another little hole up there so you can work out which side is which obviously by where the hole lines up what i found is if you pop that on first and then just 
slide that into place like so. And then the same on the other side. that on first and then slide into position. Okay and then onto the front suspension you will need these two pieces and these two pieces and these two pieces. These are the first bits you're going to put in place. These little sort of elbow joints and they want to go in this hole here you've got a round nub and a square nub and the round nub wants to just sit in here so that if I've got the right one yep that is sitting nicely in line like so do the same on the other side there we go. And then if you take these pieces, this piece here wants to go in here like that. And then there is also a little hole here, a little square that then fits in that square peg. the sort of job I would advise trying to do relatively quickly and then one piece do, doesn't dry while you're trying to line it up and then it does make it a little easier if you need to you know for instance if this first piece is, is already set in stone and then you go and try and put this on you might find that it doesn't quite line up so if you do them while they're all still tacky, you can then have a bit of maneuverability. That one went on a lot nicer than the other one. There we go. And then you've got your springs here. This recess in this side fits on these spindles here and then your peg there goes in the peg in the bottom. Yeah. And again, if it's still all a little tacky, you're able to then push that down in place without breaking what you've already done. There you go, that is all the axles done. So now we can move on to the wheels. Okay, so with the wheels, they will come as your tire and your rim, I guess, talking car terms, separately. I've, in Blue Peter style, done these ahead of time for you UK fans that remember Blue Peter. Basically, that just pops in there. I'm not even bothering with any glue because it's such a tight fit. And then what I find is if you then push that down against the table, you'll hear a nice satisfying pop, and then they are ready to go. Then, Dead simple to fit these tyres, no need to call that a mechanic. A bit of glue and they just pop straight in, like so. There you go. That is almost complete. The last few final steps have this front grille to put on here. So you've got Two little notches there and then these two pegs that sit over there like so. This might actually be beneficial to put on before you start putting the tyres on because then it holds these areas in place. There you go. And then we've got a back door just sits in these recesses. One final little piece of 
trim, as it were, is these safety bars, these handlebars that just go in these holes here and here. This little slice that's out here takes the bar on the back here. So pop, pop that in like there, spin that round into that section and then that should just fit into there. There we go. Now onto the weapons. Okay, so weapons wise, we actually have a choice of two weapons. Um, we have the auto cannon and the laser cannon. And you get to be able to build both and switch them out. So first of all, you'll see you know, these two like trigger handle sort of sections. They do look very, very similar, but the inserts for them are different and match up with the backs of two rifles. And then you can do the same on the other one. Like so. And then you have these shield sort of armor armor plates. The smaller set is for the laser cannon. You'll see there's just these little notches either side that they sit in and then there's a little notch on there you just sit on there of course these are the sort of thing that are aesthetic choices if you'd rather leave them off you can do And that just sits on there like so. And then with this one, there's a slightly more prominent, sort of obvious groove down there on both sides for these to fit in. The larger plate to the top. You'll obviously be a lot more patient than me and let things dry before you start moving on. Or you might not be, you might be just as impatient to get out there and play firefight. And I would not blame you. And then these just sit in this hole here. And it's a nice snug fit for you can leave that without glue and then you can take that out and replace it with the other weapon. There we go, that is one GCPS, Mule, all finished and ready for paint. Thank you very much, and I'll see you again next time.